guys, welcome back to my channel, Ethereal Orb. I am Megan. Um, and I'm gonna answer some questions today. I have had excuse me, tons and tons of questions on my um loaded paper towel swipe. Uh, I'm not sure if I just wasn't very clear um when I made it, wasn't giving enough details or what, but um most of my questions lately have been from that video. So I thought I would go ahead and clear clarify some of those things, do another video with another loaded paper towel swipe um, and just slow down a little bit. So I have paper towels here Ooh, and a piece of lettuce on my hand um, and they are nothing special. They are um, Aldi's brand because that's where I shop um, and they are just, I ran them under the sink, squeezed as much water as I could out of them and they've been sitting here for probably 20 minutes while I mix paint and such. So, um, they feel cold. I wouldn't say they really feel wet. I'm not sure, you know, how much difference super wet versus, you know, barely wet makes. But that's what I have. And then I have several colors of paint. Uh, before I show you all the colors, I'm going to um, talk to you about the mix, though. Because that was one of the questions people had. So I'm using Flood Floetrol in my paint. Um, if you don't know what Flood Floetrol is, you can get it at a hardware store. Um, in the U.S. that would be like Lowe's um, or Menards. It is a um, flow improver and it's like Oetrol um, in some countries. So just ask for like a flow improver if you can't find Floetrol or Oetrol. Um, and I have a little bit of water in there. I will link my mixing video in the description bar that shows you how I get the right consistency that I am looking for when I want cells. Um, it's very um, specific, up close shots and everything. So I don't want to try and like recreate that here because um, that took quite a bit of time and it, it, you really, um, it helps to just sort of watch the whole process. Um, I also have a couple drops of spot on treadmill belt lubricant in all of the colors. Um, spot on, I guess, is now making like a pouring silicone oil, but it's still 100% silicone, just a different label. So, but it might be kind of fun to have the, you know, right label. So I have four, um, colors from Arteza's metallic acrylic color set, because really, why not? Um, <laughs> if you can get metallic, just use metallic. Um, and they are gorgeous. I mean, it's like opening up Willy Wonka's door into the Wonka factory. You know, when they finally open it up and then they sing one of my favorite songs ever, um, Pure Imagination. I would love to break out in song right now, but um, I, I will save your ears. <laughs> if you like that movie, though, just go ahead and put it on. Why not? Okay, so I have, stay focused here, I have Canary Yellow. And these are all pearls. This tangerine. And the flow trial makes it look a little bit more milky. Um, since it's white, when it's wet, it dries clear. So it goes back to its original color. So I just want to show you here if I can get like a good... This, um... Whoa. Hang on a second. Okay, that was my light. It was a little precarious, I noticed. And it finally just went over. Okay, so. Are we focusing here? This is so pretty. It's very, very vibrant. I will show you this painting when it's dry so we can sort of see. Look how pretty that is. I mean, just gorgeous, gorgeous colors in this pearl set. Um, the only color I wish they had was a really deep blue. I'd love a really deep pearl blue, but alas, they did not ask me. This is the pearl lime green. I guess I don't need to open all of them. Super pretty. This pink, guys, I'm going to open it because I would love some lipstick in this color. I'm not really a pink girl, but oh my gosh, this is one of those pinks that could make me be a pink girl. Why is that not focusing? Sorry you've been looking at, like, fuzz. Okay. Look how pretty that is. I mean, it's like almost a golden pink. Some areas it just looks like this really like fluorescent um, pink and then you get a different angle and it like looks like a golden pink and it is so pretty almost like a 
uh, rose gold. And then I have some deep green. Let's see if I marked this. Nope. <clears throat> um, this is a deep green that I just added some pearl. But that looks a little bit thick. Some pearl white to to make it pearly since the other colors are pearly. I don't know if you can see that very well. But a little bit of an opaque pearl white. Um, Arteza has it in their set. Like I said, I'll link to that in the description bar. Um, if you want to check Arteza's out. But um, Arteza has a white in their set. And then Creative Inspirations also has a pearl essence. And it's an opaque pearl white. Um, either Golden or Liquitex has a pearl medium. I think it's also like a pearlescent medium. This That is not the same thing. Um, I've not used it. But from what I can tell, it's a clear um medium not a white not like an opaque white and this opaque white because it's opaque really you know I just put a few drops of it in this and it's really showing um so it just packs more of a punch if you're just wanting to change the way your paint looks um that's what I prefer that's what I use okay so for this loaded paper towel swipe this may be the wrong thing to do this on. I may regret this. I'm just using an Arteza canvas panel. I'm hoping my, when I drag it, it doesn't like start moving the canvas panel since the canvas panels are so light. But um, we'll play that by ear if that happens. Okay. So, that was everything. That's how I've mixed my paint. I'm trying to make sure I cover all the questions. Um, my paper towels were damp with just water. Um, I had some questions if I... If I like soaked them in um, alcohol or anything and it's just just regular old tap water so now what I'm gonna do is put some color on the canvas here and there and the nice thing about this is you can kind of play around with where the colors are and put the pink right in the middle and I'm gonna put the pink and the orange together I love this pink and orange. I could almost do a rainbow. I should have added some blue. Uh, it's like with the Floetrol in it and a little bit thicker, it almost looks like um, like an orange creamsicle. Okay, let's not do total rainbow since I don't have any blue or anything. Let's so put some green at the top. They do kind of go a little bit springy. Some light green. And the dark green. Alright, we need more pink. Because I say so. Some more orange. Don't think I want to sandwich this in green and green, even though I'm going to be swiping with some color. I might not use too much more of this dark green now that it's on the canvas. I'm not loving it as much as I did. Look, I said I didn't want to sandwich it in green. I was going to put it up here because I just went like that. I did put green. That's okay. I'm going to do the loaded paper towel swipe from up there. So, um, it won't even be a big deal. Let's put some yellow down here. Okay, I wasn't going to use white, but I think, I think this needs something else. Black, white. I'm afraid black is just going to mute those um, really pretty metallics. I do have some... No. That was... Um, I don't know what that was. I think that's copper. Let's see, maybe some deep purple. Let's add some deep purple. I do not know what this is, just so you folks know. I just thought it needed a little something else. Let's put like a big splotch purple right there. Okay, it's probably pretty good. I'm going to add a little bit more yellow right up here. Got lots of green. Okay, so what I'm going to do now 
got my paper towels and right here on my canvas I'm going to um, I am going to use some white for this I think I'm going to put some white oh this is my that's not my white that was um, that had some uh, pearls in it glass bead gel okay so I'm going to put a little bit of white down I think these colors could stand a little break from each other with a little white I'm going to put some of the pink down. And some of this orange. My white's going to get covered up, isn't it? Okay, um, and let's leave it at that. I'll we'll just have white running down here and there. Okay, now what I'm going to do, let's make sure that's in camera. No, yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do, is it focused? Have you been looking at a fuzzy picture. I am so sorry. I hope you fast forwarded through that. Okay. I must not have it on autofocus or something. I don't know. So now I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to dip it in this paint. I'm going to try and load it up pretty heavy. It's okay if it touches the painting because I'm going to swipe it anyway, but get some of this good and coated on here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on my canvas and I'm just going to drag this loaded paper towel swipe through my paint and one of the things that this does is it eliminates the swipe line because you're putting paint on the paper towel you don't have a swipe line of like one single color oh that's really pretty I'm going to dip dip right here and then I'm going to get a small one and I'm going to get like I'm going to go that way a little bit because I, what I have my camera sitting in is really close to my canvas I have, I've got to figure out a different setup for that um, so it's really hard sometimes to just go down a little bit and then there we go sometimes it's hard to get like really that top edge well okay let's make sure it's all good and covered really really pretty really pretty cells right here oh my goodness I can't wait till this dries to see those metallics just pop out um, so you can see I could even go over that again but um see how you don't have like one color just coming down where you have this like band and if you like that look I'm not like downing that look but um, I did get a lot of replies to some of my um, different techniques to eliminate that. This is one of them um, that people do not, some people do not like that. So I, I have several techniques that I use now that um, eliminates that. Sorry, I'm going to fiddle while I talk. Um, and this just happens to be one of them. So I should have done that. That wasn't quite enough paint. Well, lesson learned there. You need more than just a bare dab. That's okay. I'm going to walk away. I'm really loving these cells right here and I don't want to mess anything up so if you have any questions leave them in the description bar but I hope I answered them all with this video and I did it slow enough I do apologize that it was fuzzy and not in focus there for a while um, if you fast forwarded through that you really didn't miss anything other than me putting bands of color um, on the canvas so you know nothing that oh don't land in my painting um, but I will show this to you dry. I'm going to come in. Um, I'm going to bed, but I'm going to come in in the morning when it's, you know, hopefully getting close to being dry. And um, as long as it's dry enough for me to sort of move around, I'm going to warp. If this canvas warps, I'm going to start bending it. Um, if you start bending your canvas as soon as you can, like, touch it without totally ruining your painting. Um, it's, like, it's like it's dry, but it's... You know, that cool feeling that it has. You know, it's not all the way dry. Anyway, I'm going to start bending it back to try and keep it flat. But other than that, I'm just going to let it dry. And I will be back to show it to you with all that sp um, sparky, sparkly metallic paint. So good night and happy pouring. Okay, so it is dry. You can see that pretty pearl um, sheen. But I did want to show you when it warped. Oops, that's a little bit. I guess it's not. Okay. Um, it 
pulled away from the canvas panel a little bit, which is just fine because I can work this and keep working it. And I may need to dampen some spots again um, in the back. But this can just come off this then, this um, canvas piece. And then I can decide to frame it um, or cut it up for skins. Yeah, some of these areas are going to need to be um, wet down because it's not pulling away right here. It's ripping. But you can see, basically, or I can probably pull this. Let's see if I can do this. Yep. Off. And then if I need to, I can just dampen an area if it's not pulling away. Oh, looks like it's going to come off really easily. Make sure I don't have anything wet down here. Oh, there's some tearing there. Alright. Alright. Tear this away. And then I, I might actually get a frame. Ooh, wet paint. Um, get a frame for this one because I, I really kind of like it. Um, it might be worth framing. I'm not a big frame person usually in general with paintings. I just like to see them with their raw edges uh, regardless of what the painting is. Sometimes I think the frame just takes away from the painting. That's just my personal. I'm a minimalist anyway though at heart so. Here we go. I know this is exciting television, folks. All right. So there we go. Take it off. I'm not in my paint clothes. I came in to do a quick little shoot the dry video, or shoot the dry painting video. So I'm trying not to get anything on me. Alright. And certainly nothing on this. And there we go. We have a pretty painted canvas. Oops, that part needs to come. There we go. We have a pretty painted canvas that I can um, frame. Or do something else with. I know somebody made like a journal cover or something with one of these. So there's all kinds of things you can do. But I hope that helps if some of you have painted on canvas panels or bought some canvas panels not knowing um, that they can warp. Have them sitting around and you want to um, do something with them. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. You can always hit that notification bell once you subscribe to get notifications when I post new videos. In the meantime, guys, happy pouring.